Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Uh, today we're going to be doing Taurus's love reading from May 16th to May 31st, 2020. Um, I already meditated, uh, prayed, shuffled the decks, and I smudged with Palo Santo. Uh, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, uh, check your sun, your your rising moon and venus signs uh also um some of it this is like a general reading so some of it might apply to you and some doesn't so take what resonates and leave the rest as well um your cross if you're a cross watcher this reading could be for you if you're dealing with a taurus or someone who has uh taurus placements for their sun rising moon or venus signs Remember that the roles can be reversed, so take it as it applies, okay? We're going to start off with a singing bowl. I'm going to do a seven-card love spread. I'm going to do some clarifications, and then I'm going to pull some love messages. So let's jump right in. If you want to meditate this with me, this is the time to do so. Let's get started. Divine Source, Goddess, Holy Spirit Angels, Oracles, and Spirit Guides. Show me what you have for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, in love, 2020, Spirit. Thank you. So... At the heart of the matter, we have the Knight of Wands. For Taurus, we have Strength, the King of Wands, and the Empress. There you are, Taurus. For Taurus's partner, we have the High Priestess, the Ace of Pentacles. And the Queen of Spades. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So to start with, the Knight of Wands is speaking about someone coming, rushing in passionately. Um, sometimes the Knight comes in and he's in and out. Um... He likes to sometimes spread his wand around. We have the strength card, which is Major Arcana, number eight. Okay, so this could be a Leo that you're dealing with, or you could have Leo strong placements. But the universe is telling you to be strong. You're feeling like you need to be strong. There is, here is the King of Wands. Okay, so this is a very sex, sexy and passionate um, masculine energy. You could be in your masculine energy or this is could, how you see your partner. Um, they're very passionate. They lead with their emotions. Um, but sometimes, like I said before, it can be somewhat flighty energy. It's very independent. Then you have the Empress here. Okay, so she represents basically all of the queen's uh, powers, okay? She is a mother. She's abundant. She um, is the mother of the world, of creation, of, of being artistic. She's abundant. So this could be how your partner sees you, but this is also you. This is the card of Taurus and Libra as well. Now, you also have a couple wands here. So, you know, the wands could also represent Aries, Leos, or Sages. Now, you've got the High Priestess, okay? This also can represent Taurus or Gemini, okay? Now, the High Priestess is for your partner. So, saying that they have um, 
a feeling either they see you as intuitive or they are trying to go off of their intuition they may not be saying much um but they feel or they feel that you feel like you have the knowledge to this situation so let's continue you got the ace of pentacles this is talking about financial abundance okay um a stable abundant future and then you have the queen of swords now the queen of swords could be a gemini libra or aquarius but this is also a feminine energy who is cutting away the nonsense who sees very clearly uh she leads with head over heart okay so inside it's not that she doesn't have emotions she just doesn't necessarily always lead with them so let's pull some clarification now as well for the overall um for the overall energy of the reading you have the seven of swords so this is some type of deception or competition that was happening um there may have been something that's not known here and here with the high priestess is talking about intuition so let's get some clarifiers uh spirit why is the knight of wands here at the center of the situation the root of the matter for taurus please why is the knight of wands here at the center of the situation for taurus May 16th to May 31st, 2020. So you have... So the Knight of Wands, someone wanting to rush in with a passionate offer. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, here you are again, Taurus, unless you're dealing with another Taurus or another Taurus Virgo uh, Capricorn. Um, this is a single energy feeling abundant and, uh, like you have everything you need to be single. You're comfortable with being single. You have the King of Cups, someone who is a family man, could be a father. You could have children together, uh, wanting to make an offer of love. Then you have the Page of Pentacles. It is a uh, childlike energy, but it's a stable offer, a message of love, a financial uh, gift. It could be a car, a house. It could be something smaller. But basically, this King of Pentacles wanting to make this offer of love, a gift. It may have been after a tower moment because we have the Seven of Swords here, a deception, Okay. Um, and now they're trying to come back in with this, uh, page with this Knight of Wands, trying to rush back in with this offer, this gift after this tower moment, even though they feel very defensive, like they don't, they don't see much hope here, but they, they want to give it another chance. Spirit, why does Taurus have... The strength card, Spirit. Why does Taurus have the strength card? Why does Taurus have the strength card, Spirit? Why does Taurus have the strength card? Spirit, why does Taurus have the strength card, Spirit? Why does Taurus have the strength card? So you're feeling defensive, Taurus, Seven of Wands. There may have been some competition. And now you're in the Eight of Pentacles. You're concentrating on your finances. You're working hard towards abundance. Here you are, the Queen of Cups, and you've had the King of Cups here. So this person sees you as the marrying type, a loving mother in her feelings. Uh, very, um, she's intuitive as well. Um, temperance is here. This is talking about the universe stepping in, restoring balance. You see the two cups here pouring from each cup into each other. This is the universe and the 3D, the worldly um, plane. Then you also have the chariot here, bringing some type of movement from the universe. Two of wands, making a decision on a collaboration and the ace of wands, a passionate offer. So let's back up. So you're, you, you've got the strength card. You're feeling like you need to be strong. 
uh, because there was a lot of conflict and competition, maybe because of this deception. Now you want to concentrate on your finances. You know, your partner sees you as the queen of cups. Your um, The universe is stepping in to, to bring some type of um, balance into this situation. This is also can be the card of... Um, of reconciliation but it would be a reconciliation that happens in divine timing you know it's calling for patience um to to let the universe guide you uh, you might be impatient about this but you know spirit is saying that what will come will be the way it's supposed to be okay then you've got the chariot here there is movement here you might be thinking of moving moving away um it can also just speak to like moving towards each other. It could be quickly here with this two of wands. So they're really deciding to come in with this uh, decision or offer of collaboration. And the ace of wands is an extremely passionate offer uh, that they want to start with you. Okay. Spirit, why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands, Spirit? Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020 in love? Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020 in love? Why is the King of Wands here, May 16th to May 31st, 2020 in love, Spirit, one more? Why is the King of Wands here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit? So the Three of Cups, so some type of celebration. It could also be a third party situation. And the King of Swords. So what we have here is somebody wanting to rush in. They see you in a single energy. They're coming in as the King of Cups. They want to make a solid offer because there was a tower moment, something that had to do with a deception. You're feeling like you need to be strong in this situation. Um, you're feeling defensive. Um, they see you as the Queen of Cups, a true pair. Um, the universe is stepping in to bring some type of movement in this situation about a passionate offer. This King of Wands could be representing this uh, King of Wands who could be how you saw your partner who is here representing themselves as the Queen of Cups. And you are coming in as the King of Swords, cutting away any nonsense, okay? Or... Now, because of this situation and they see you in your single energy, this King of Cups feels like there's competition with this King of Wands, okay? And now they feel like they might be a left out in the third party. There's also the King of Swords here. So you actually could have a couple of suitors competing, or this could be your energy cutting away what no longer serves you. Let's get some further clarity. Spirit, why is the Empress here for Taurus? Why is the Empress here for Taurus, Spirit? Why is the Empress here for Taurus? Why is the Empress here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020? Why is the Empress here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020? And love, Spirit, why is the Empress here for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit? One last shuffle, Spirit. Why is... The Emperor is here for Taurus Spirit. So the Wheel of Fortune, the universe bringing some type of change, and the Five of Swords. So you found out about a deception, and this is bringing about a change. Um, you're ready to move forward. Okay. Spirit, why does Taurus's partner have the High Priestess Spirit? Why does Taurus's partner have the High Priestess Spirit? Why does Taurus's partner have the High Priestess Spirit? May 16th to May 31st, 2020 in love. Why does Taurus's partner have the High Priestess Spirit? Why does 
Why does Taurus's partner have the high priestess spirit? So they're going through a lot of anxiety because of their intuition. They really want a new beginning with you. But they, they might be feeling this single energy, even though it hasn't necessarily been communicated to them. Uh, they feel like there's other people involved, other suitors. They might feel like the shoe was on the other foot now because we had this three of um, cups here and we had this deception. So now they might be seeing people coming towards you. Spirit, why do we have the Ace of Pentacles spirit? Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles spirit? Why does Taurus's partner have the Ace of Pentacles spirit? Why does Taurus's partner have the Ace of Pentacles spirit? Why does Taurus's partner have the Ace of Pentacles spirit? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. So they have the Three of Wands. They're waiting. The Five of Wands. They feel like there's a lot of competition right now. Spirit, why does Taurus's partner have the King of Queen of Swords? Spirit, why does Taurus's partner have the Queen of Swords? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. Why does Taurus's partner have the Queen of Swords? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. Why does Taurus's partner have the Queen of Swords spirit? One last shuffle. Why does Taurus's partner have the Queen of Swords spirit? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. So they have the Ten of Swords. They feel like, you know, they have the clarity now that you're in your Queen of Swords energy. They are down for the count. They recognize that this was too much. Clarify the Ten of Swords, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords for Taurus's partner, please. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus's partner? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus's partner, Spirit? May 16th to May 31st. 2020. Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? More Spirit. Yeah, because Justice has come in and stepped in. So here we have Libra twice with the King, Queen of Swords, which this could be actually Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And then you have here the Ten of Swords, which is speaking about a conflict that you can't deal with anymore, the closing of a cycle. And then you have Justice, which is Libra, which is talking about karma coming in. So they might be feeling like they're dealing with this karma. This is why they feel like there's a lot of competition and they don't know exactly how to do. So they're holding back. Uh, you know, they want to come in, but they're, they're nervous. They are really contemplating this. They are going to jump. Because they have the fool here. And they do want to make this solid offer. But they feel like their back is against the wall. So let's get some love messages for Taurus. Spirit, can we get some love messages for Taurus? How does Taurus feel about their person? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. Spirit, how does Taurus feel about their partner? How does Taurus feel about their partner? May 16th to May 31st, 2020 spirit. So you feel like you deserve love. How do they feel about their partner? You may feel like they weren't giving you the kind of love that you deserved. How does Taurus feel about their partner? May 16th to May 20, May 30th, 2020. And you're in the energy, you might be trying to start something new or start a new chapter with them because you're saying getting to know each other. So you might actually, because you have all these suitors on deck, feel like you deserve more love than what you were receiving and you're leaving your options open to getting to know new suitors. How does Taurus's person feel for Taurus spirit? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. How does Taurus's person feel for Taurus? May 16th 
to May 31st, 2020, Spirit. How does Taurus's partner feel for Taurus? How does Taurus's partner feel for Taurus? May 16th to May 31st, 2020. So here is, they recognize you're in separation, but they want to give your relationship a chance. Spirit, what actions will Taurus take towards their partner? May 16th to May 31st. 2020 in love what actions will taurus take towards their partner may 16 to may 31st 2020 in love so you're willing to make the effort so you're ready to you if they don't make the effort you're going to release your ex you don't want to take any steps towards them you're leaving your options open Spirit, what actions will Taurus's partner take towards Taurus in the month of May 16th to the 31st, Spirit? What actions will Taurus's partner take towards them May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit? So very soon, they want to reconcile with you. They're coming in. So you're trying to release them and they're trying to come in. Spirit, can you show us the outcome, please, for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, in love, Spirit? Please show us the outcome for this situation for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit. What is the outcome of this situation, Spirit? What is the outcome of this situation, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit? What is the outcome for Taurus in this situation? What is the outcome, Spirit? Last shuffle. What is the outcome for Taurus? May 16th to May 31st, 2020, Spirit. So you're calling in your soulmate. You want a, a solid offer, whether it be a wedding. You want a serious commitment. You want to heal family issues. Something that has passion. And you're ready to express your love. But you're concentrating on your finances and career because you want to love yourself first. You feel like a heart, a heart conversation is needed. So right now, they're going to be coming into you. It's going to be your decision, Taurus, if not you want to reconcile with this person. But they are definitely coming to you. They feel your independence. They feel the suitors around you, and they're going to come in. So let's get some advice for Taurus from Spirit. Let's see advice for Taurus and Spirit from Spirit, May 16th to May 31st, 2020 in love. Can we get some advice for Taurus, May 16th to May 31st, 2020, please, Spirit? Yep, so it says an offer. So you're going to be getting an offer. It could be from this person telling you that they want to reconcile and put this past behind you. They first started off showing up as the Knight of Wands and they ended up showing up as the Queen of, uh, as the King of Hearts. So let's see um, if that's going to bring enough change for you that you want them, okay? So they're coming towards you, Taurus. It's going to be up to you. And that's what I have for you for the rest of May in love. Wishing you love and light. Namaste, my beautiful people.